Hey guys, Eric Franklin here from CNET, and today we're taking a first look at the ASUS Transformer Prime, the follow-up to the ASUS Transformer released in early 2011. Right away, we noticed the Prime is not only thinner than its predecessor, but since it's also thinner than both the iPad 2 and Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, it becomes the thinnest tablet yet. However, it is slightly heavier than both of the aforementioned tablets. The Transformer Prime takes some design cues from the iPad 2 with a sloped aluminum backside and well-rounded corners that don't dig into your palms as the previous Transformer did. Also, while the backside does a good job of resisting fingerprints, the glossy screen and bezel succumbs to them easily. There's a 1.2 megapixel camera on the front with an 8 megapixel camera on the back which records 1080p video. Like with the previous Transformer, the Prime can connect to a keyboard slash dock transforming it into an Android laptop. With the previous Transformer, making that connection wasn't the easiest thing in the world to do, but the process improved dramatically on the Prime as it now easily slides into the slot. It is a bit top-heavy when connected, though. The $150 dock is compatible only with the Prime and vice versa. The dock includes a trackpad, a data-slash-power connection, full-size SD slot, and a USB port. The Prime is the first tablet to house NVIDIA's new quad-core CPU, the Tegra 3. As a result, transitions when navigating are much smoother and games like Riptide GP take advantage of the four cores by adding graphical effects like splashes on the screen, something you don't see in other versions of the game. You can also connect the tablet to an HDTV or monitor and play games via supported gamepads. 1080p video playback is both smooth and crisp supported by a high-quality IPS screen that delivers pretty wide viewing angles. The CPU can run at its full normal speed or can be easily throttled to a balance mode or power saver mode through an ASUS custom interface. ASUS also adds a super IPS plus mode which boosts the brightness making reading and sunlight a bit easier. The Prime is available at $500 for the 32GB version and $600 for the 64GB version. The keyboard slash dock checks in at $150. Check out the full review for more detailed info. Once again, this is Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the ASUS Transformer Prime. CNET.com slash live is the place to find your favorite CNET tech shows. From the hottest gadgets to the latest tech news, we stream it live five days a week at cnet.com slash live.